Pops and I are in the shop today. You always hear these awesome stories of all the success these people have creating products that, that are global huge. You always hear of the inventions that just take off. This invention, my dad and I truly thought could be one of the biggest inventions in the world. And that's what we're about to show you. We are going to show you guys one of the, at least we thought, the biggest truck inventions in the world that my dad and I came up with, but it ended up being a failure. And that's just part of figuring things out is you never know what is going to actually do well, what is going to take off, what is actually going to physically work in the real world versus computer. And we're going to go through that. But Pops, what do you think? Uh, well, it wasn't going to be the best invention in the world, but it was an invention to organize your tie downs. Because if you look in the back of my truck, I don't care what guy you are that has tie downs, I organize them all the time. And for some reason, they're always a mess. So in my mind, how do we get the tie downs out of the bed of the truck, but keep them close to the truck and build something so you have a tray to put all the tie downs in? So our thought process was, let's take the fender and let's just make a drawer on the fender. Open it up, all the tie downs are in there. You take them out, set them in there, click them in, snap the fender. Sounds Boom. so easy, you guys. We made so many different versions trying to make this work and we'll get into why it didn't work. It still can work, but the problem is it's gonna cost so much that it's not just a quick thing. It's like, okay, who's gonna spend all that money just to put their tie downs away? Original thought, quick box, take off the fender, bolt it up, and it's like a little drawer, boom, you're in and out, install 30 minutes or less, both sides, pretty inexpensive, and you're on your way. At the time, this was the sister to the Transformer truck. You guys remember the Transformer truck, I've obviously showed a lot of you, but if you don't know what the Transformer truck is, I'll pull it up right here, the Transformer truck, the bedside's winning the air. The whole goal with this truck was to have a truck that has all of our tools and it has everything we need, and when it shuts up, you don't even, understand what it is it looks like a factory truck just that normally would drive down the road also with our bumper drawer invention this truck used to have it on it as well uh, we pulled it off because we are still in the process of doing all the r d so anyone on here that has been interested in the bumper drawer we will have updates soon but making a global product is not as easy as it sounds especially when it's just my dad and i so we are, we are figuring that out but let's get right into how this works how it should have worked and why it was kind of a, a big failure for my dad and I because we have a lot of money, time, and effort into this product and it just didn't work. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's just your normal dually truck. My dad loved this truck. It's F450 and uh, this thing is a towing monster. And it's gonna be for sale. It is gonna be for sale and that's why we're doing this uh, video actually is to pull off all the inventions so we can sell this truck. Right now it's dirty in here because I literally haven't opened this for several years because we made, I don't even know how many time, how many revisions we have made of this. And there's a lot of work into it. So basically you, the idea was you slide the fender open and then you have a couple different pockets. You have one pocket right here for tie down where you can just pull the tie down out, not tangled at all, just boom. Go do whatever you want. <laughs> And then you could, you could put them right back in, so none of them get tangled. So on this end, we have pull tie downs, and then on this end, we have ratchet tie downs. But at least there's a spot, right? Which is perfect. And then we, we also have these two different uh, things right here. We, we just decided to, if you had your truck full, this is like a net for your truck, jumper cables. Yeah, if we you got a Chevy uh, or a Dodge or a GMC, they're going to need jump sometime. Cause I got a Ford and I don't need jumps. <laughs> <laughs> or the, you know, the second part of this is we're going to have different boxes that slide in here that you could keep different things. If you, whatever, if you're a golfer, you could have a, a golf box or you, you get the idea. But the reason it's, it's open right now and dirty 
is because we never did get to the part where this has a little lid so no dust gets in here. So this whole box is made out of aluminum, which Brad's gonna bring up right now, a 3D model that we kept drawing in the computer. And the biggest problem we have is never the drawer sliding in and out because we, we got it down to where it would open and close pretty good. The problem is the fender, we didn't realize how flimsy the fender is because it's not a fiberglass fender. Keep in mind, this is a factory fender. So this is this is a plastic mass pr produced fender. Yeah, and we're, and we're trying to keep the cost out. So if we could make this piece here out of nylon, then we could get it to end consumer for, you know, inexpensive, like say maybe 150 bucks a side. Then you have a place to put stuff and store stuff. But we would literally have to make a whole new fender to go with this. So it's not that we couldn't perfect this. It's just now in order to make the fender attached so it's not all all over the place like this, it's it's too expensive. So now it, it, otherwise it brought it into probably a good $1,500, $2,000 and you got to paint it and who's going to buy it? People watching, if you're in construction or something, some people on here may say, oh, dude, I would spend the 2000 Whenever we build something, we think, okay, would would we buy that? Like, I would buy this in a second for a couple hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. All day long. If I could just take the fender off and bolt it on, I would do it in a second. But you can't. So when we go 2,000, then it's... When, yeah. we, when, I, when we finally come to reality and say, okay, it's going to cost too much because we're going to have to put so much money into another fender to make it work with this, then it's not worth it. So now we just wasted a bunch of money and time, but... Hey, that's why we're showing that we have mess ups and, and we did, I mean, we spent so much oh time trying gosh. to make this. I, I want to bring up some pictures for you guys. So this is us kind of figuring out how this starts. So it, it all starts off as flat sheets, a hundred thousandths aluminum. And we had to kind of put it together. Uh, we, we had a lot of different variations. Like my dad said, we, we had one that had drawers on it. We had latches, we had different mechanisms, different, uh, George sliders, everything to try and figure this thing out. And we actually uh, were doing this also uh, under a deadline. We, we were filming our TV show with Discovery Channel and, and this was for SEMA. We actually were building, I'm pretty sure it was the Tacoma or the van at the same exact time. And so there's a lot going on. But at the end of the day, it worked in CAD. It, it checked all the boxes. We, they cycled it once we kept figuring out what it was and it worked perfect. The second we got it on the real life truck, that's where everything kind of changed. Yeah, it, it became, yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. Actually, I look at it and it, I'm just mad. Yeah. I'm mad at it because this is a great idea if you could make it cost effective. But hey, for you guys out there with ideas, they don't always work. I mean, this is a good example. I mean, this is close. This is so close. If this worked out perfect, this could have been a, a million dollar product too. So it's, if you have an idea of anything and you're just afraid to kind of go for it, then, then you'll never know if it'll be successful. At, at least with what we did here, my dad and I know uh, it could be perfected, but as far as production of a new fender and things like that, it would take a lot of money to, to make this work. And at the end of the day, we don't know if the cost would be there for the end consumer. With all that being said, it was probably a lot of information. I know it probably bored some of you guys. We want to take this thing off, show you exactly what it is, how the fender attaches to the box, because it is pretty impressive how it works. Because if you think about it, the box is stationary on the truck, and this fender goes in and out. So to make that happen, there, there is a lot. So let's pull this thing off, and let's show you guys exactly what it is. So this is actually very, very, very educational. Well, as you can see, the box, I mean, this is pretty simple. So we have an inner fender well. Of course, I've got big tires. They're not usually like that. So this makes up for the inner fender well, because normally you have a plastic piece that goes in here. And then you have four hinges that basically hook together with the second inner fender well. So you shouldn't get any mud up in through here. And then what we were originally gonna do is just have, like I said, we'd have a flap here. That's fully sealed. Yeah, so it would seal anything because you could see after four years, there's a quite a bit of dust. And when it comes in here, it locks on each side. Oh yeah, that is one thing I forgot to tell you guys. There's two locks on each side 
uh, a very strong lock, and that's just off your keypad, which is cool. Yeah, just like your door. This is exactly like your door lock. It's called a clam lock, and it just comes in, locks, locks, holds it nice and tight. Again, the only problem is the fender is so weak that we'd, we'd have to build a whole new fender, or we'd have to build a whole new a whole new section to make this fender so it wouldn't move at like this. And it's just, it got too expensive. Yeah, and a lot of you are like, why don't you just build a structure around the fender? And we we, we did that. This is a section right here, full strengthening section around. The Again, the problem is, is this toolbox is so small and a dually fender is not a lot of room. You can see when, when you're looking in here, there is not a lot of room inside this fender. So to build an, an skeleton to hold that fender, you're now you're talking about making this even smaller and this when the fender shuts it we had a clearance of like a quarter to a half an inch all the way around this whole box you can actually see that the box is actually contoured with the truck and so that is why but we did every little thing that we could possibly do really it it needs probably a massive fender made and that 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 cost is just it would put it completely out it's a great idea Great place for tie downs, but dang why, it. Why are you so sad? Because I really wanted this to work. I would literally, my bed wouldn't look like that. I know this is kind of sad. It's a sad day. All right, let's get this box off and uh, show you guys the back side of it. Uh, we'll set it on the bench and actually kind of show you how, how the whole thing works off the truck. This is basically what the back looks like. It's very simple. This was built to uh, basically take up the gap uh, from the bedside because the bedside's a perfect radius. And then with this, we were dealing with just aluminum. So it has, doesn't have as perfect radius. What's interesting about this is just to make this piece right here, this is built up with another two different pieces put together. So we have our inner fender well here that piece is what held all of our slider, basically our drawer sliders. And then we had to make a piece that bolted to the fender all the way completely around. And that's what my dad's undoing right now. Look how big of a stiffener that is. I mean, that's a lot of work just to make that. Look at how much, so this is all welded. So this is actually built up two pieces, just this stiffener, fully welded all the way around. And then this whole piece, look at how many breaks it is just to even make that work. And it still didn't stiffen it up. So basically that was our invention. It was our big idea. It was a lot of fun. I think we're gonna end off with, uh, I wanna just show you guys, I'm gonna pull up uh, just a bunch of old footage of when we built this truck. A lot of fun memories. Good old Madeira, Justin, Austin. But hey, this way you could see that we were serious. And, and when we put this truck together, we were going to SEMA with this thing for a purpose, for a reason, new product, and it didn't work. <laughs> and that was after the fact. I so know. I'm it worked, but it was going to be too expensive. So we just kind of, I don't want to say gave up. Uh, we've exhausted every possible way to make it price effective for you guys. And, and uh, we just couldn't get it to work. Yeah. That, that, hey, it's okay. The other thing I'm going to add in here is uh, maybe just a few cool, fun SEMA memories. I'm going to go back and look at the old footage. It'll actually be kind of fun for you guys to watch this as well as me. But other than that, have a blessed day, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this footage. Whoa. Tip me over. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, No, I said. Madeira, just just have a cup, just have a cup of coffee, Madeira. That's the sound guy, Stefan. Mister. See, that's why we have you, Justin. See, because my dad moves so fast that he doesn't even know what he's doing. This right here, this puzzle that we have. See all these drawings. This is our top secret, patented, secret project for our F450. There's the bed right there. Here's the truck. That's about all I could show you, but there's just one issue about this whole entire thing is I have to uh, assemble it with 
Someone who has so much energy, he can't even tame himself. All right, Alco, what do we have here? This is the patent pending birdie dually box. Let's check it out. So I'm just gonna grab some of my daily stuff out here. I got my scraper. Uh-huh. Um, I got a screwdriver. All right. Carb cleaner in there. Carb cleaner in there? What are you doing with all that? Hold on, I'm thirsty. I got a Mountain Dew. All right, so I got my plants. So then I need plant things. Okay. I think there's some more in there. Oh yeah, I got my hammer. And then there should be more. What, right, what else oh, can you put in there? Well, we got rapid straps, so that was You got it there. I think there's one more. Oh, there it is. Oh, my step stool. Oh, oh my god. Holy cow. That thing holds a lot, huh? Yeah, I think there might be more in there. I got my gear in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go to work. You know? Don't put your hand underneath. Now I got a moving blanket because I'm going to help Brad move to North Carolina. <laughs> okay. What's what else are you gonna put in there? Uh, oh, there it is. There's my sheet metal. My sheet metal. You're, you're what? There <laughs> yeah, metal. there you go. You accidentally hold the trigger and just slam the truck. <laughs> Absolutely not. This right here bumper fully bolts on. So if you have a factory truck, you can buy the Diverti bumper drawer. Take out your spare tire, bolt this in, bolt on your tailgate. We have a complete drawer. The bed tag comes out like a drawer and behind it is a full toolbox. So we have tie downs. Uh, we have a spider net for if you're hauling anything, jumper cables and more tie downs because this is our ultimate hauler. So after after this, you know, you pull it out, get all your stuff, this shuts back like factory, just like the other side, the other side shut right now. But uh, as you can see, it comes out that distance. So it just comes out enough to get to all the tools. And then this side, you would never know it was on there. So uh, come by the Ford booth, check this bad boy out, and uh, let me know what you guys think.